Hey everybody, it's Bob with RB Innovations. In today's video, we're gonna go through our heat exchanger heads for the 3.3 Traxxas engine. We use our heat exchanger tubes to dissipate a lot more heat than any standard head that's out on the market. So it'll allow you to run leaner, longer, and get a lot more power out of your engine. Our heat exchanger head is CNC machined from 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. Our design using heat exchanger tubes dissipates a lot more heat than the standard head design on the market. The heat exchanger tubes are held in place by our top plate that's secured with five mounting screws. Alright, let's go over to the prototype lab and I'll show you how to install it. Alright, we've got the Traxxas 3.3 engine. We're going to go ahead and replace it with our heat exchanger head. First thing we want to do is remove the five screws that hold the engine head on. Take those off. All right, now we're gonna set that head aside. And what we're gonna do is take apart the heat exchanger head. We're gonna take the five screws out of the top and remove that top plate. So we have access to put the engine head screws down in. Okay, take that plate off, put it aside. Now what you're gonna do is take the head screws from your existing head, drop them right down into the tubes. Then what you're gonna do is reinstall that top plate with the five screws. And here you wanna use Loctite and snug them down. All right, now we've got those tightened down. Now what you wanna do is take off the gasket off the bottom of the stock head. We reinstall it to the new head. Now we're ready to drop it on to the engine. Simply line everything up. Drop your wrench right down through and re-tighten the head. And again, lock tight, and you wanna snug all five down. All right, and that sums up the heat exchanger install. That's the end of our video. For more information, visit our website at rbinnovations.com or at facebook.com slash rbinnovations. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you check out next week's video. We're going to go through all the components and give you an overview of what we have to offer for the Low C5T.